On to the new segment. Um, I bet a lot of people out there probably already know that Jump the Shark came from Happy Days. Now, what happened was the gang, Fonzie was discovered, he was going to be the next James Dean. They, the whole gang, everybody flies out to Hollywood to join the Fonz. And he meets up with this California kid guy who's a big skier and stuff like that. Well, eventually they, they have a competition and, and literally the Fonz jumps the shark, which is the term when a, when a show is once great and it's kind of gone, okay, they, they, they have a plot line that go, a plot, you go, oh my God, what are they doing? So anytime you hear jump the shark, that is from Happy Days. Again, most of you probably knew that, some of you didn't. Uh, look it up. It's it's a, it's fun entertainment television. Uh, there's also another saying that comes from uh, from Happy Days, and it's the Chuck Cunningham syndrome. Now, this is a this is something when a star or a character just disappears. There's no explanation. He's not killed. He or she is not killed off. They just disappear without any reason whatsoever. Which brings us to. Chuck Cunningham. What happened to Chuck Cunningham? Why did they just forget about Chuck Cunningham? Now, Mr. and Mrs. C are considered the greatest parents of all time. I know people who said, gosh, I wish Mr. and Mrs. Mr. And Mr. C were my parents. And I, you know, I had great parents. I, I had pretty good parents, but never once on their worst day did they forget I existed. The Cunninghams forgot all about Chuck. I mean, completely forgot about him. It, it, it's, it's crazy when you think about it. Again, after season, midway through season two, maybe, never mentioned again. Never mentioned again. So what happened to Chuck? What, what, there's theories out there. Some people thought he joined the Manson family. I mean, I'm serious. That's an that's a actual, actual theory. Um, I, my theory is that Linny and Squiggy did something to him. You look at Linny and Squiggy, they got serial killer written all over them. I, so I, maybe that's what happened and they just didn't want to write it in the show that, you know, Linny and Squiggy did that. Um, <laughs> We also know that Joni loved Chachi. Did she hate Chuck? It was was that part of it that she just hated Chuck? We gotta get rid of Chuck. Joni hates him. Joni hates him. Uh, the <laughs> the de uh, uh, there there was an episode where Richie moves in with Chuck. He literally moves in with Chuck. He moves in with his brother. It's the second Chuck, but he moves in with Chuck. And so what, how do we explain this? Is it like Dallas when Bobby Ewing died? It was just a dream. So this was just Richie's dream of moving out someday and not being under the roof of uh, Howard and Marion. I don't know. It, it doesn't make sense. Uh, Chuck was played by two actors. Uh, the first actor was Gavin O'Hurley. He asked for it out of his contract midway through, I think, midway through season one. I think he saw the handwriting on the wall. Hey, they're just going to get rid of me. I'm, I'm just not going to exist. And I, do, I don't want that for my character. Uh, the second was played by Randolph uh, Roberts. He was the last anyone ever heard or saw of Chuck. I mean, literally, he's the last Chuck that we know of, but he's he's not the Chuck I think most of us remember. Nothing against uh, nothing against Randolph Roberts, but he's not he's not our Chuck. Uh, so over the last ten seasons of Happy Days, it ran for eleven seasons. There's no mention of Chuck. In fact, the final scene. Howard's giving a toast. He says how proud he is of his two kids. His two kids. Once again, you have a third one. It's Chuck. Couldn't you have done something that... I don't know why they just could have said, hey, Chuck went to go on a basketball scholarship. Chuck went, Chuck went crazy. Chuck, Chuck died. I mean, Chuck tried to jump the shark and didn't make it. We, we, there's so many things they could have done. So that's my conclusion. Happy Days. Happy Days. I loved Happy Days. Tuesday night was always... Happy Days Night, and then you had Laverne and Shirley. You'd camp out and say, oh, I can't wait, I can't wait. Well, I didn't camp out, but, you know, you, you you watch Happy Days because it was a great show, especially for the first five seasons. It was a funny, funny, entertaining show. But, again, they kind of dropped the ball on the whole Chuck thing. So hopefully in the future TV shows don't do that, and we don't have the Chuck Cunningham syndrome. That's all I got. The next one we're going to be doing is M.A.S.H., and look forward to that. It'll be out sometime next week. But if you click the bell, you'll know it's out. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Bye.